have always had a long-term investment view. And what I mean by that, it actually all started back when I was in high school. I had about $1,200 to my name and there was a penny stock. It was called Neo Media Technologies, I believe. And it was a penny stock. I think I was maybe my freshman or sophomore. And what they did was they actually invented, I don't, I think they invented, or maybe where they were one of the early adapters of the QR code. And they had a reader that would read these QR codes. I'm like, man, that is the future right there. And no one even knew what the heck a QR code was, but I figured I'm on the cutting edge. And I think it cost me per share, maybe two or three cents. I I mean, it was, it it was dirt cheap. It, it, by true definition, it was a penny stock. So I put all my $1,200 into this one stock and I figured this is this is the stock that's gonna make me rich. It's kind of like the the whole Bitcoin craze craze. You know, a lot of people think it's the it's the get rich quick scheme. And if you don't know what you're doing, which I had no idea what I was doing, you can lose your money and you can lose your money very fast. So I put my money into this investment and I figured I'd watch it grow. And from the day that I put that money in, the two to three cents, whatever it was, never went up another penny. And it was so sad. And actually just a few years ago, I finally, I held on to the stock and the co- uh, the company, I don't even think they're in business anymore, but I went out of business and I sold off the, the stock. And I, I think it, of my $1,200, I think I got maybe like $20 back. I, I mean, it went down to just zero. So I got my 20 bucks and it was the most expensive. I went and bought lunch with it. I got a sandwich and it was the most expensive sandwich I've ever had in my life. So, but it taught me an interesting lesson. And that lesson was one, even though at the time I figured, you know, this company with QR codes, they're cutting edge. And, and I mean, look at it now, QR codes are everywhere. Thanks to, you know, the advancement of technology due to the pandemic and everybody needing to pivot. But it was, a life lesson to be learned that there's no way to become successful at anything just overnight like that.